In the vast expanse of our solar system, an invisible threat looms large, one that could plunge our modern world into chaos with little warning. Solar storms, the temperamental outbursts of our life-giving sun, possess the power to disrupt the very fabric of our technologically dependent society. From widespread blackouts to satellite failures, the potential impacts are as diverse as they are alarming. Yet, in the face of this cosmic peril, humanity stands resilient, armed with cutting-edge science and innovative strategies. Join us as we explore the science behind solar storms and their potential impacts on our world. The Sun's Fury Unleashed At the heart of our solar system, the Sun churns with unimaginable power. This celestial powerhouse, which has nurtured life on Earth for billions of years, also harbors the potential to wreak havoc on our modern world. The key to this destructive capability lies in the phenomenon known as solar storms, cosmic tempests that can unleash the sun's fury across the vastness of space. To comprehend the nature of solar storms, we must first delve into the sun's volatile personality. Our star experiences a cycle of activity that ebbs and flows over roughly 11 years. During periods of high activity, the sun's surface becomes a seething cauldron of magnetic energy, giving birth to sunspots, dark blemishes that serve as launch pads for solar storms. From these sunspots erupt solar flares, explosive releases of energy that can outshine the entire sun for brief moments. These flares are classified on a scale from C, smallest, to M, medium, to X, largest, with each level representing a tenfold increase in energy output. While C-class flares are common and largely harmless, X-class flares are rare behemoths capable of disrupting radio communications and satellite operations on Earth. Yet, solar flares are merely the opening act in the sun's repertoire of cosmic weather. The main event comes in the form of coronal mass ejections, CMEs, vast clouds of magnetized plasma hurled into space at mind-boggling speeds. These solar tsunamis can contain billions of tons of solar material racing through the solar system like interplanetary cannonballs. When a CME is directed towards Earth, it can trigger a geomagnetic storm upon impact with our planet's magnetic field. The severity of these storms is measured on the disturbance storm time, DST, scale, with larger negative values indicating more intense events. Ordinary storms might register around minus 50 nanotesla. NT, causing beautiful auroras, but little else. However, extreme events can plummet below minus 1,000 NT, potentially wreaking havoc on our technology-dependent civilization. The most powerful solar storm in recorded history, known as the Carrington Event, struck Earth in September 1859. This massive geomagnetic disturbance lit up skies with auroras visible as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. Telegraph systems worldwide went haywire, with some operators reporting sparks flying from their equipment. In the modern context, a Carrington-level event could have catastrophic consequences, potentially causing widespread blackouts and crippling vital infrastructure. As we journey deeper into the 21st century, our increasing reliance on electronic systems makes us more vulnerable than ever to the sun's temperamental outbursts. Understanding solar storms isn't just a matter of scientific curiosity. It's become crucial for safeguarding the technological foundation of our society against the capricious moods of our life-giving star. When the lights go out. Imagine a world plunged into darkness, not by the setting sun, but by its fury. The potential impacts on our modern infrastructure are as far-reaching as they are alarming, touching every aspect of our technology-dependent lives. At the heart of our vulnerability lies the power grid. When a powerful geomagnetic storm hits, it can induce enormous electrical currents in power lines, overwhelming transformers, and potentially triggering cascading failures across entire continents. The result? Widespread blackouts that could last for weeks, months, or in the most extreme scenarios, even years. The implications are staggering. Without electricity, water treatment plants cease to function, food preservation becomes a critical challenge, and healthcare facilities struggle to maintain life-saving equipment. But the chaos doesn't stop at ground level. High above the Earth's surface, our constellation of satellites faces grave danger. These orbiting sentinels, crucial for everything from weather forecasting to military operations, could be severely damaged or rendered inoperable by the intense radiation from a solar storm. 
GPS systems, the invisible guide for much of our transportation and logistics infrastructure, could suddenly become unreliable or fail entirely, throwing global navigation into disarray. The disruption extends to our communication networks as well. High-frequency radio transmissions, vital for aviation and maritime operations, can be completely blacked out during intense solar events. Cell phone networks, reliant on precise timing signals from GPS satellites, may experience widespread outages. In an age where instant communication is taken for granted, we could find ourselves abruptly disconnected from the global information network. Financial systems, too, stand on shaky ground in the face of a severe solar storm. Electronic trading, banking operations, and ATM networks all rely on the intricate web of power and communication infrastructure. A prolonged disruption could paralyze economic activity, potentially triggering a financial crisis that reverberates around the globe. The economic toll of such an event is difficult to fathom. Studies have estimated that the damage from a Carrington-level event could run into trillions of dollars, dwarfing the costs of even the most severe natural disasters we've faced. Recovery efforts would be hampered by the very lack of infrastructure they're trying to restore, creating a daunting chicken-and-egg problem for disaster response teams. Perhaps most unsettling is the potential for long-term societal disruption. Our modern way of life is so intricately tied to our technological infrastructure that its sudden absence could lead to social unrest, especially in densely populated urban areas heavily dependent on complex supply chains for basic necessities. Are we prepared? In the face of such a formidable cosmic threat, humanity has not remained idle. Our first line of defense against the sun's volatile temper is a network of vigilant eyes trained on our celestial neighbor, constantly watching for signs of impending solar tantrums. This sophisticated system of space weather monitoring is our early warning system, a crucial component in our preparedness against potentially catastrophic solar events. At the forefront of this celestial surveillance are space-based observatories like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, and the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, STEREO. These high-tech sentinels, hovering in strategic locations millions of miles from Earth, provide us with unprecedented views of the Sun's surface and atmosphere. Their instruments capture detailed images and data on solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and other solar phenomena serving as our interplanetary watchdogs. Back on Earth, organizations like the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA, Space Weather Prediction Center work tirelessly to interpret this flood of solar data. These modern-day oracles of space weather analyze complex solar models, scrutinize real-time satellite feeds, and monitor a plethora of instruments to forecast solar activity and its potential impacts on our planet. Their predictions, issued with increasing frequency and accuracy, serve as vital intelligence for industries and governments worldwide. However, despite these impressive technological achievements, predicting space weather remains an enormous challenge. The sun, in all its complexity, continues to defy our full understanding. Solar storms can develop rapidly, sometimes catching even the most vigilant observers off guard. The most dangerous events, like coronal mass ejections, can take anywhere from hours to days to reach Earth, leaving a narrow window for preparation once detected. Moreover, our ability to predict the specific impacts of a solar storm on Earth's magnetosphere, the true determiner of a storm's destructive potential, remains limited. It's akin to predicting where lightning will strike in a thunderstorm. We can see the storm coming but pinpointing its exact effects is still beyond our capabilities. International cooperation plays a crucial role in our preparedness efforts. Space weather, by its very nature, is a global phenomenon that requires a coordinated global response. Organizations like the International Space Environment Service, ICES, facilitate the sharing of data and forecasts among nations, fostering a united front against solar threats. Current warning systems, while far from perfect, represent a significant improvement over past capabilities. Many critical infrastructure operators now receive regular space weather updates, allowing them to take precautionary measures when severe solar activity is predicted. However, the effectiveness of these warnings largely depends on the readiness and response plans of individual organizations and nations. Safeguarding our solar-powered future as we hurtle towards an increasingly electrified and interconnected future, the imperative to shield our civilization from the sun's sporadic fury grows ever more pressing. 
The path to a solar storm resilient world is multifaceted, requiring a delicate balance of technological innovation, policy implementation, and public awareness. On the technological front, efforts are underway to harden our critical infrastructure against geomagnetic disturbances. Power grid operators are installing specialized equipment like series capacitors and transformer level protection devices to mitigate the effects of geomagnetically induced currents. In the realm of space-based assets, satellite manufacturers are developing more radiation-resistant components and improved shielding techniques to protect these orbital sentinels from solar onslaughts. Policymakers and industry leaders are increasingly recognizing the need for comprehensive space weather preparedness plans. Many countries are now incorporating space weather into their national risk assessments and disaster preparedness strategies. International bodies are working to standardize space weather scales and warning protocols, fostering a global approach to this borderless threat. Perhaps most crucial is the drive to enhance our predictive capabilities. Advanced computer models, leveraging machine learning and artificial intelligence, are being developed to better forecast solar activity and its terrestrial impact. These models aim to extend our warning times and improve the accuracy of impact predictions, giving us precious additional hours or even days to prepare for incoming solar storms. There you have it. It's now time to hear from you. If you had to live without electricity for a month, Due to a solar storm, what would be your biggest challenge? Let us know in the comments below.